And another place where you can get help is at UH Maui College, where FEMA has set up a disaster assistance center. So far, FEMA has given out more than $2 million to people impacted by the fires. KITV4's Erin Coogan continues our team coverage from Maui. Today marks day two. FEMA specialists will be stationed right here at UH Maui College to provide one-on-one -on -one assistance for those accessing federal financial relief funds. Now, this is the very first disaster recovery center on Maui, serving as a hub for folks to determine what financial aid they qualify for, how to register, and when they can expect to see those funds. FEMA representatives say each case is looked at individually. So no matter what the extent of damages a person has incurred, it's worth coming down and going through with their staff. We don't know that you're there unless you tell us. So you can come to the Disaster Recovery Center here on campus and talk about your insurance situation, talk about how many people were affected in your household, obvious the damage that you've suffered. Uh, we have resources here uh, with the American Red Cross, uh, also with the state and the county, of course, uh, to help you with those immediate medical or mental health care that you may uh, that you may be looking for. And depending on the individual circumstance, some may qualify for $700 in immediate assistance, money to buy food, clothing, while others may be eligible for temporary housing assistance. But again, coming down, utilizing FEMA's Recovery Center, one of the ways to ensure you see those federal funds, the center is open every single day from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Again, right here on the campus of UH Maui College. For now, reporting, Aaron Coogan, Kia TV4, Island News. And FEMA has also been helping with search efforts. About 250 search and rescue team members and canine teams are on Maui right now. FAQ page, which will also help to dispel some rumors. One of the rumors, if you apply for disaster assistance, that FEMA may confiscate your property or land, FEMA says that is not true. And another rumor, that FEMA and the Red Cross are confiscating donations, FEMA says that's also not true. You can find a link to FEMA's FAQ page on our website, kitv.com slash links. If you were impacted by the Maui or Big Island brush fires and you need legal help or have questions for a lawyer, there's some free help, so take down this number here, 888-533-2773. That's the Hawaii State Bar Association's free legal hotline, which started this past Tuesday and then continues next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 9 to 5. And joining us now is Lisa Yang. Thank you so much for being here. You're with Watanabe Ng, and you're also the president of the Young Lawyers Division of the Hawaii State Bar Association. And first of all, how's the response been? Well, thank you for having me. Um, the response has been um, pretty steady. There hasn't been an incredible influx of calls, uh, but we have been getting, I want to say, at least 10 to 20 every day. Wow. Uh, but I think we're still getting the word out about the hotline. We anticipate that more calls, uh, well, it's just going to build up. And what are some of the questions that people have? Um, they really just, uh, all kinds of questions from you know just replacing important legal documents such as your license or birth certificate, marriage certificates, or even when it comes to you know landlord tenant issues and questions about paying rent or uh, even about filing insurance claims for property damage. It, it really runs the gamut. And you folks can help them with all those things. Uh, yes. So we have volunteer attorneys from across the state who are um, waiting on the lines and uh, with reference to materials and. Um, we're also trying to keep these materials up to date as agencies come out with updates about how people can obtain relief. And I will also say we also answer questions about how people um, can apply for and access aid that's available to them. And what, ki what kinds of things can you not help them with? Well, I must say that on the line we're giving legal information and, that's, and not legal advice. So um, uh, an attorney-client relationship aren't, is not formed on the line, but we're trying to get basically legal information um, out to the public as quickly as possible. And why should, explain why should people get legal advice for this? Oh, legal information? Yes. <laughs> well, basically, there is a ton of resources out there, and in this very difficult time, um, it can be difficult to, to call through all of the websites, all of the posts, and everything that's out there. and. Um, there are lawyers waiting on the line who have gone through and are receiving this information and, you know, can talk out, you know, the questions that you might have and, you know, point you in the right direction. 
And again, the number to call 533-2773-1888. And thank you so much for donating your time. These are all volunteer lawyers, right, wanting to help. Uh, yes, I have to say that the hotline is a project that's really near and dear to the Hawaii State Bar Association. Um, whenever disaster has um, happened in the state, the HSBA has, you know, put up the line. You know, for example, the line was put up when Iniki happened, and callers, uh, volunteer attorneys took over a thousand calls when that disaster wow. occurred. And I, I just have to put it out there that um, uh, this line would not be possible without the support of the Hawaii State Bar Association, the Legal Aid Society of Hawaii, um, the Young Lawyers Division also of the Hawaii State Bar Association. But I really um, must say that the attorneys who are part of the Maui County Bar um, have really, really stepped up to help their community. And we had so many attorneys who were ready, willing, and able to help, even though they were also um, dealing with the consequences of the fire and they wanted to help their community. It's been really um, inspiring. Everybody definitely coming together to help, right? Yes. Thank you so much. Lisa Yang from the Hawaii State Bar Association. Thanks for having Thank me. You. Now, if you were impacted by the Maui fires and if you're an immigrant, here's some extra help for you. The Maui Economic Opportunity has been helping immigrants apply for emergency passports and birth certificates. They've been bringing in representatives from the consulates, including countries like Mexico and Argentina. These folks, they aren't able to get their documents like everyone else and just go to the DMV or to the county building or state building. Um, they need to go through the consulate. And, um, you know, without these documents, they're unable to work. They're there are still a lot of trust issues and fear issues. MEO has also helped immigrants now living in shelters who have a hard time understanding English. Not only were they separated, um, there was no contact with the other side. And then there were limited, if any, um, language access. And so us being there, you know, there were several families who were just in tears with, you know, a little bit of hope um, because there was somebody for them that they could communicate their needs. So definitely a lot of trauma for these folks. Federal assistance might not be available for undocumented workers, but MEO says there are other resources available. 